So, Kill Bill Volume 1 was the first ever film I saw from Quentin Tarantino back in September in my sound class. I absolutely loved it. I had a blast watching it. It was just so incredible. So, what did I think of the second one? Kill Bill Volume 2. Um, it's really good. I don't think it's as good as the first one, but it was able to provide some answers to questions that we all had when watching Kill Bill 1. Okay, let me get my issue with this film out of the way. It's the hillbilly character or something. I mean, I don't know. I just wasn't a fan of his performance or kind of importance within the plot. I don't know. I mean, it just... I, I don't know. It may have worked for some people, but I just don't think it worked for me. And I think this is the film that... And this, and this is the one element that is kind of holding this film from perfection. I feel like if he was able to serve something important, or, I, I don't know, like then maybe I would have liked it a lot more. But, yeah, it's just, it's at where it's at. But I really enjoyed the rest of the movie. Uma Therma just absolutely carries this whole film. Like, like, especially during the last chapter, when she's spending time with her daughter, like, you really feel like, like, she's giving everything. Especially since around this time, she was the becoming a mother herself so like that you could really see that on camera and it's and Therma just does a perfect job delivering that I love it her performance in the Kill Bill duology is probably one of the best I've seen out within any female-led movie or movie with a fe with a female protagonist the action doesn't disappoint the action slaps in this film with their showdown with one of the fox girls and then the little fight she has with bill <sighs> like there are just so many things i like oh i did i did i did leave out one thing that that i also wasn't a fan of in this film i i forgot to mention that it was the <laughs> snake i mean i'm fine with a lot of the things tarantino does but just having a snake that's where I draw the line. I don't, I don't, I don't, I hate snakes. I hate snakes with a passion. I, except for Janice. But, yeah, I just, like, when I showed up, I was like, no, 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 that, that just, that, that, that's, that's not gonna cut it. I just, <laughs> um, yeah, I really, I really like this one. Like, obviously, I don't think it's as good as the first, but this did have a lot of great performances, a lot of the signatures Tarantino is known for. Like, I also really liked that opening monologue, that opening scene in black and white. Oh, um, here's some of the other things I'm going to point out. That, like, when the bride just pops out that woman's eye, I wasn't expecting that. And I was also surprised that we were able to see it in color because in the first film, like, as soon as she pulled out that one guy's eye, it all went to black and white, which was probably done to avoid getting Kill Bill on NC-17. But oh, I'm just surprised they were even able to allow that, as well as seeing the eye being crushed. Oh, man. Tarantino, he, he's, he's a madman. He's a madman. But yeah, um, not 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 quite on the same level as the first, but still another great Tarantino.